Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an equation with z and real part of z. We have z minus 1 divided by real part of z plus 1 equals i and we're going to be solving for z values. Now where does this problem come from? This problem was kind of suggested by Army Tech Rex. Thank you for the idea and keep him coming. So Let's go ahead and take a look at this equation. We have z minus 1 divided by real part of z plus 1 equals i. With these kinds of equations, I guess this could be considered a rational equation. We have to be careful. We need to make sure that the denominator is never 0 because if you divide by 0, everything is just going to blow up, right? So make sure that the real part of z does not equal negative 1 at the end because that's going to make the whole thing meaningless. Okay, under that condition, let's go ahead and solve this problem. How do you solve these kinds of equations? Well, first of all, let's get rid of the fraction by using cross multiplication. Multiply these, that gives us z minus 1 equals i times the real part of z plus 1. And they are basically equal, right? And now we're going to replace z with a plus bi because that's the name of this channel. Not just because it's the name of the channel, but it's helpful, right? That's why it's the name of this channel. So let's go ahead and do the replacements. And what is the real part of z then? The real part of z is just going to be a because notice that z is made up of the real part and the imaginary part, right? So real part of z is a real number, by the way, in case you didn't know. A and b are real numbers, okay? So the definition of complex numbers dictates that a and b are real. So replace z with a plus bi, subtract 1 from it, and then replace real part of z with a, and just add 1 to it. So this is something that we get. Notice that we have an imaginary number on the right and a complex number on the left. So let's go ahead and write it like this. a minus 1 plus bi equals a plus 1 times i. Here I don't need to distribute because the imaginary part is clear. It's clearly a plus 1. Make sense? You don't need to distribute it. Now, we have two complex numbers that are equal. And what do we know about their equality or when they're equal? That means the real parts are equal. So the real part on the left-hand side is a minus 1. But there is no real part on the right-hand side. Which means the real part on the right-hand side is 0. So a minus 1 should equal 0. Make sense? And the imaginary part on the left-hand side is b. And on the right hand side, it's a plus 1. That means b is equal to a plus 1. So we got ourselves a system, but this system is very easy to solve. What does it say? a minus 1 equals 0 and b equals a plus 1. So easy, right? From the first equation, we get a equals 1. And the second equation gives us b equals 2. Because b is supposed to be 1 more than a. Now, you might be wondering, is there a way to check the solution? Absolutely. We can actually go ahead and plug this into the original and see if it's going to work. So my original equation was z minus 1 divided by real part of z plus 1 equals i. Hopefully you memorized it by now. And this implies that if a is 1 and b is 2, then z is going to be 1 plus 2i, right? So let's go ahead and plug it in. 1 plus 2i minus 1 divided by the real part of z is 1 plus 1. Is that equal to i? Let's find out. 1 cancels out. This gives us 2i divided by 2. And the 2's cancel out, leaving us with i. And yay, happy ending. So the solution works. You don't have to do this every time. But if you have time, I would highly recommend it because it's going to verify your solution. What if you made a mistake? What if I made a mistake? Right? Everybody makes mistakes. So it's always a good idea to check our work if we have time. Of course, on time tests, uh, there's a lot of pressure and sometimes it's very hard to do. So z equals 1 plus 2i seems to be the solution. But is that the only solution? Can we find anything else? I don't think so. But let's go ahead and check out what Wolfram Alpha says. Because when I saw, and uh, pretty much every time I'm going to plug it into Wolfram Alpha to see if we can solve it. Because if there's a problem that I can solve or you can solve, but Wolfram Alpha cannot solve it, then we win as humans, right? Humans against AI. Yay. Okay. But this time we didn't. Anyway, it's a tie. 
but we kind of partially win because I'll tell you something. Obviously, Wolfram Alpha is able to find the complex solution because it's right here, easy, right? Come on, Wolfram Alpha, you can't do harder problems, maybe some of them. Anyways, but if you look at the first part, alternate form assuming Z is positive. Now, why do we have to assume Z is positive? Is there any reasoning behind it? Let me rewrite the equation, Z minus 1 over real part of Z plus 1 equals I. Now, it says... If Z is positive, I guess what Wolfram Alpha is trying to say is assume that Z is real, right? But that doesn't mean Z is positive all the time. Z could be negative too. But if you just assume that Z is real, of course, the real part of Z is going to be simplified. How? Think about it. If Z is real, then the real part of Z is going to be Z. I mean, no, I'm not saying that. Okay. If real part of Z is equal to z because that's what Wolfram Alpha assumes here. What does that mean? Suppose z can be written as a plus b i. Let me write it here so you can see. z equals a plus b i and this implies that the real part of z which is a equals a plus b i. But that just means that b is equal to zero which means z is real, right? So why did they put it that way? And if you go ahead and try to solve it from here, you can go ahead and cross multiply. Z minus 1 equals Z I plus I. Uh, and then from here, you're going to put the Z terms on the same side and then divide by 1 minus I eventually. But guess what? This is not going to be a real number. Because when you multiply by the conjugates, you're going to be getting 1 plus I times 1 plus I, which is 2I divide by 2 and that'll be i but as you know i is not real right or is it anyways this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye